From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big morning as $1,400 third stimulus checks crash in with wave after wave after wave. And those waves will continue later this week. How many waves are there? So far, there's five waves, but there could be even more. Wave one was St. Patrick's Day, and after that, we got wave after wave after wave. But the great news is we know when and where stimulus checks are landing, and the great news is that if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad Benefits, we now know exactly when the tool updates itself, when the deposit occurs, and when the mail delivery comes as well. Meantime, great news from the President of the United States as he unveils your four stimulus package. Of all those details across the board, that four stimulus package was debuted yesterday. What was mentioned and what was not mentioned. Elsewhere, incredible great news about $10,200 of tax-free money that will be coming as a rebate to Americans across the board. This was announced late yesterday of all those news as well. As we go into a new morning, as big details are unfolding about third stimulus, fourth stimulus, and new tax credit checks coming in the mail. It's a big morning across the board. I'm so excited for you. Let's get ready to rock and roll as Early Mornings LA starts right now. How are you? The toast is toast, toast and the butter is butter, and I'm here, you're here, and the waves are crashing in. <laughs> the surf waves, the stimulus check waves, if only there was some bacon waves crashing in. How are you? It's a big morning of early mornings, L8, and I hope your day is going well. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't become a member, consider becoming a member, and if you haven't liked this video, give it a like. It's birthday week on this channel, so make sure you give us nice subscribe to this channel across the board. I'm so excited you're joining me across the day, and there'll be a lot of great recordings today. I'll be back with you at 9 o'clock a.m., Pacific Standard Time, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, 4 mornings to LA. EIDL was at 3 on the West Coast, 6 and the East Coast today, and FPUC was at 6.30. Don't catch, miss those. Those are now archived on the channel. The breaking news announced overnight from Treasury shocked everyone. If you filed a 2020 tax return, they're going to send you a tax credit. Yes, if you filed a 2020 tax return and claimed taxes on your Unemployment benefits from 2020, they're sending you a tax refund check. How will this detail fold out? I'll have all the details for you coming up in a second. But today is the continuation of both Wave 2 and Wave 3 of stimulus checks. $1,400 third stimulus checks, including if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad Benefits, continue Wave 2 and Wave 3 simultaneously today. What's going on? Let me explain to you what is a wave and how they formulate and which wave we're in now and how you can find out which wave you're in. A wave starts on a Friday. The stimulus check is sent out on Friday by Treasury for direct deposit and also for mail delivery. The Saturday following the Friday, IRS updates their tool. After they update their tool, their results show who they sent out the stimulus check for on Friday. And then on Wednesday, the direct deposits land. Now, it's very important to understand what these Wednesday direct deposits are. These are big banks, direct express card by Comerca as well. But smaller banks prepay the stimulus before Wednesday. Which banks are those? Chime Cash App, also H&R Green Emerald Card and TurboTax, and NetSpend pay out stimulus checks before the Wednesday. They usually pay it out on the Tuesday or Monday. And then the stimulus checks arrive on the Friday or Thursday in the mail that week. So remember, stimulus checks are paid out on a Friday, the direct deposit recipients are Wednesday, and the mail checks are the day after and the day after that. 
So which wave has been which wave? <laughs> which way to the waves? Wave one was March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Wave two was March 24th. And that March 24th wave was the first one for Direct Express by Comerica. Now, by wave two, SSI and SSDI had been paid out extensively. Also, veterans had been getting stimulus checks by wave two. These were the banks that had paid by wave two. Wave one, it was Citizens Bank, PNG, Bank Corp, Chime, PayPal, NetSpend, Green Dot. Also, People United Bank had paid by wave one. U.S. Bank, PNC, Capital One Bank, Lake Michigan had paid by Bank One. Union Bank, Net, Net Spend, Amex, Bluebird, Navy Federal, BDP, Wood Forest, also USA, had paid by Wave One. Bank America, Chase, Wells, Green Emerald Card, and also TurboTax had paid by Wave One. Then we went to Wave Two, March 24th, a week later, always on a Wednesday. And who paid on Wave, on wave Two? Same banks again, but added Direct Express by Comerca. Also, Green Dot, Citizens Bank, Bank America, H&R Block, Regions Bank, TD Bank, Chase, PNC Wells, Bank Arves, and U.S. Bank. And then came the mail checks. Mail checks for Wave 2 were March 26. Now, this date lives in infamy because this is starting to turn into the 2021 version of the March 31st Vortex. Remember the 330-331 Vortex for my old-time viewers' this channel? People who applied for that EIDL and applied on March 30th or March 31st or April 8th and were stuck in a vortex and saw other people get their checks, but then they were not getting their checks. Well, March 26th is starting to turn into a male vortex because some of these have still not been paid. March 26th appears in some IRS.gov tools as a mail check date for hundreds of thousands of viewers of this channel, and they have yet to see it. What should you know if that's you? is that those mail checks are coming late. Yesterday, hundreds of more got it. The day before, hundreds of more got it. So they've been paying out this week on the 29th, 30th, and 31st. They're coming late. Now, what happened yesterday? Yesterday was way three, March 31st. And direct deposits landed again as well. Which banks did those direct deposits land? Well, NetSpend, MetaBank, again, paid early on the 29th and 30th. Then on the 31st, the banks that paid were Comerca Direct Express Card, U.S. Bank, Bank America, and some smaller banks, along with Chase and Wells. Now, if you did not get a direct deposit yesterday, what would you get this week? You could absolutely, categorically, yes, get a mailed check, a mailed check or a mailed debit card from Treasury of your stimulus check today, April 1st, tomorrow and all the way up to early next week. What's important to understand is that you do not automatically default into wave four, April 7th. It's very, very important to listen to this part of the recording. Treasury has made it very emphatically clear in a series of posts yesterday and a series of messages to viewers of this channel on the phone yesterday that some of you will receive direct deposit on April 7th, including people on Direct Express by Comerica and people who receive your benefits on SSI and SSDI every month, but many will not get it by direct deposit. It will be in the mail or already is in the mail. This is what you need to know. Hundreds of thousands of viewers have checks in the mail for March 26th. Yours could be in that group and could literally land today. Or you could be in the wave three mail checks. One of those, April 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So you don't want to miss those mail checks. They could land any day this week. Check the mail every day this week. And then as we go into early next week, then the wave four will be prepaid early again for the same banks. NetSpend, MetaBank, Chime, Cash App, before the big banks make their deposits again on April 7th. And also, uh, Turb and also uh, from uh, Direct Express, Comerica on April 7th. What's important to understand is that Treasury will repeat itself later this week. This Friday, they will send out Wave 4. On Saturday, the tool will update itself to show who is paid from Wave 4, where it's going and where it's not going. If you're getting a direct, direct deposit next week, it'll show it on Saturday, potentially. If you're getting it by mail, it'll show it on Saturday, potentially. Now, understand that tool may never show where you're going. The tool sometimes just doesn't work for some people, and the money just shows up. And then next Wednesday, 
that direct deposits will land from direct expressed by Comerica and the big banks. Smaller banks will pay a day earlier, like a Monday or Tuesday, and then the mail checks are Thursday and Friday. What you need to know is that you cannot miss the mail. There's a very, very strong message to viewers sent by Treasury. Do not miss the mail because if they mail you a mail check for wave two, it could land today. If they mailed you a mail check for wave three, it could land by the end of this week or next week. And if you get a mail check and don't notice it and throw it away or discard it or lose it, it'll take six to eight weeks to replace it. Yesterday, Ricardo Hernandez, his longtime viewer of this channel, dropped in the live chat. He got his mail check yesterday marked march 26 he got yesterday the 31st it was a debit card it came in a white envelope like this one like the second stimulus they're very bland there's no logo or anything on the outside of the check so you do not want to toss it away if you toss this away just hoping to only get a direct deposit that direct deposit will not show and this will be in the garbage can it'll take six to eight weeks to replace don't want to do that meantime New video from the White House about the resurgence of the virus. Currently, we're growing at about 5% per day, day after day, of number of COVID cases. It's not a particularly good number. And second, there's a new report out that now B117 is the dominant strain for the that virus as well. Let's listen to this new video from Dr. Walensky talking about how there's a growth of the virus across the country once again. Cancer, with approximately 378,000 COVID-19 deaths, accounting for roughly 11% of all deaths in the United States in 2020. COVID-19 deaths were, far, were highest for older adults and males and were higher as we previously saw among American Indian and Alaska Natives, Hispanics, non-Black, non-Hispanic Blacks, and non-Hispanic Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander persons compared to non-Hispanic Whites. In fact, among nearly all of these ethnic and racial minority groups, the COVID-19 related deaths were more than double the death rate of non-Hispanic White persons. Also in the video, the, Dr. Walensky talks about the resurgence of the virus in certain parts of the country. Let's listen. Seen in the United States, a remarkable feat in such a short period of time. Further, over 70% of people over age 65, our most vulnerable group, have received at least one vaccine dose. I'm proud that CDC stands with others leading the way to scale up our national vaccine effort as quickly as possible. As the president mentioned on Monday afternoon, we are working quickly to expand our federal retail pharmacy program from about 17,000 to 40,000 stores in communities across this nation to help everyone have ready access to vaccines. Also, Dr. Walensky and Dr. Fauci addressed the concern that now B117 is the dominant strain in the country. B117 is the strain from London, and there's concerns that the current vaccines may not be resilient against B117. Let's listen in to Dr. Fauci. We have cross reactivity against the range of variants, which is characteristic of T cells. This slide here shows the high level of antibody against a prime and a boost of the Pfizer vaccine. The point I was making a moment ago is that that level is so high that even when you diminish it by multifold, which is the case with the variant, you still have a good degree of protection. Next slide. But the other thing that we want to concentrate on is that the, now we're learning more and more that these CD4 and CD8 cells are very important in that they cross react against certain viral variants. And they last for a long time. Next also slide. making news yesterday this was the President of the United States addressed the American people infected, about his four stimulus package. That Let's immune listen memory in. response lasts well, for several months. It's time to change that. But it also includes, know, besides anybody, what I meant. I got criticized for giving tax breaks to middle class and poor folks this last time. I didn't hear that cry, you and cry, when we we're doing the same thing. When Trump's tax bill passed, 83 percent of the money went to the top 1 percent. You know, this is not to target those who made it. 
<clears throat> not to seek retribution. This is about opening opportunities for everybody else. And here's the truth. We all will do better when we all do well. It's time to build our economy from the bottom up and from the middle out, not the top down. Yesterday, the President of the United States debuted his four stimulus package. And as predicted by this channel, he did not talk about stimulus per se. In fact, he did not talk about a lot of the bare basics. What he did talk about was the front side of the bill, which is $621 billion for transportation, including bridges, roads, public transportation, ports, airports, and electric vehicle developments. $400 billion for the elderly and, dis and SSDI. Uh, $300 billion for improving drinking water, broadband access, and electric grids. $300 billion for buildings and retrofitting, and $500 billion for manufacturing research and job training. What's important to understand is that you are not expected to hear during the press conference anything about climate taxes or stimulus checks. Why? Number one, there will be climate in there, and the climate narrative is something that causes opposition from Republicans. Number two, you are likely not to hear any mention about stimulus checks in there because that's something that causes tensions among Democrats. Democrats have already told the president that they will not support the bill when it lands in the Senate. Let me explain what's going on. When the Senate, when the bill lands in the Senate by reconciliation, because it will land there by reconciliation, Democrats, including Ron Wyden and Bernie Sanders, and no less than 30 of them, have written the president a letter saying that we will not give you the vote of support for the bill unless we amend it, and they will amend it. Those 20 of 30 Democrats have said, when we get the bill in the Senate, we're going to amend it to put reoccurring stimulus checks in there. How many checks? How often the checks? They would be every month until the end of this year, $1,400 to $2,000, say insiders, and the checks would go to everyone that qualifies currently for a $1,400 third stimulus check under the third stimulus package. The president may not want to put that in the bill, but these Democrats have the ability to put it in there when the bill gets modified in the Senate. So you will not hear the president talk about those stimulus checks at any time. You will hear the Democratic senators talk about it instead. But how will the president pay for this? The president's insiders all say that he's going to, one, increase the corporate tax rate to 28% currently much lower, reduced by the Trump administration. Second, increase the inheritance tax. Third, increase the capital gains tax. And four, institute a wealth tax. Outsiders and Wall Street believe that the tax implications may derail the bill. And the president's team has said that he is not hardcore to that issue. At issue is there a series of tax loopholes that the president can do that is a bipartisan idea that'll get this passed. But ultimately, if the president goes to reconciliation, he doesn't need a Republican to support the bill at all. I'll have more about this in a second and I'll have more about the stimulus checks still landing in your bank account this week or in the mailbox just right after this video. And I'll have more from Dr. Walensky and Dr. Fauci as well. Stay with me as Early Mornings LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m.
Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues right now as LA continues. You'll hear more about the president's remarks from yesterday about four stimulus in just a second. But let me join you as I tell you what else is going on right now. How are you? It's a big morning. You ready to crush the morning? How are you? <laughs> It's just a great day. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. It's birthday week on this channel, so give some birthday subscriptions. It's free to subscribe, and boy, you want to subscribe. You don't want to miss a single thing across the board because there's something happening every minute of the day. Also, like this video. And if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Let's cut back to that $1,400 third stimulus check and those different waves. Which wave are you if you don't know which wave you're in? This is what you need to know. You need to assume, assume that your mail check may be coming today. You may be a wave two mail check from March 26th that's coming late today, April 1st. Second, you may be a wave three check that is coming late um, or coming early this week as well. You need to check that mail every single day because you could literally be in wave two or wave three. This is what's important to understand is that Treasury, when they announced that Wave 4, some viewers took that to understand that they're only getting it by direct deposit and only getting it on April 7th, and everyone from Direct Express is coming on April 7th by Comerica. Oh, that is not true. That is not what Treasury said. They said some of you will if we haven't already sent it out. Well, guess what? If they've already sent it out during the second or third wave, you better watch that mail because that mail may have your check. Bottom line is it's easy to check the direct deposit, but it's more important to check the mail because if you lose it in the mail, it ain't going to come to the direct deposit. So what will happen later this week? Well, on Friday, if you go into Friday and you don't see anything in the mail, then you may be in that direct deposit for the following week for Wave 4, April 7th. Saturday, the tool up to itself, and you may be put in that tool because that's what they're going to do Saturday is put all the new results in the tool Saturday from Friday. Wednesday, the direct deposits will land. And Thursday and Friday, yes, there will be some Wave 4 mail checks after the 7th. So you could be a Wave 4 mail check as well. And with that, there is so much else happening among the big questions is when will the president really get this four stimulus package moving the way it needs to move? Let's listen into a little bit more about what the president said later yesterday about the four stimulus package. Let's listen to here to what he had to say. It's going to help in big ways. It's going to extend access to quality, affordable home community-based care. Think of expanded vital services like programs for seniors. Or think of home care workers going into homes of seniors and people with disabilities, cooking meals, helping them get around their homes, and helping them be able to live more independently. For too long, caregivers who are disproportionately women and women of color and immigrants have been unseen, underpaid, and undervalued. This plan, along with the American Families Plan, changes that with better wages, benefits, and opportunities for millions of people who will be able to get to work in an economy that works for them. You know, decades ago, the United States government used to spend 2% of its GDP. If you heard in that part where the president talked about help for the elderly and the disabled, there is certainly a big question among viewers and a question for me as well. Whether the $400 billion for care for the elderly and disabled Americans is what he promised during the campaign trail of that SSI, SSDI, $2,400 a month, $200 a month. We have yet to see whether that is this or it's something else. The president has been broad on large stroke descriptions of this Ford stimulus package, but not yet specific enough to the extent that we can see the details. In the next 24 hours, I will have the bill for you so you can actually see line by line if there is the items you so wish to have. But understand this, that when we look at the proposals from the Democrats of the Senate, they propose to give you a lot more than $2,400 of SSI and SSDI. They look to give you upwards of twelve dollars to $16,000. How do they devise it? 
check every month, nearly to the end of the year, $1,400, $2,000 a month. This is a lot more than $10,000 of hazard pay, a lot more than FPUC retro, and a lot more than SSI of SSI of $2,400. So will it get to that finish line? And what will Wall Street say? Wall Street in the last few days has said that while the stimulus checks going out now are great, the concern is that the new proposal for the president is more a concern of too much taxes and very little support for the economy, that it looks like we're just fixing things and spending a lot of money to fix it. We will see how that will fold out over the next few days. Let's cut back to some of the questions I've seen in the last few hours and last two days about stimulus checks that causes some confusion. And let me answer them right now. First, are people on SSI and SSDI only getting stimulus checks on April 7th? No. Are people on Direct Express Card by Comerica only getting a stimulus check on April 7th? No. Are veterans only going to get a stimulus check on April 14th? No. Are, have, is a particular bank paying stimulus checks on a particular day? No. All these things are categorical no, because what has IRS and Treasury has said is that everything has multiple routes. Every card is paying is is paying checks every week. Every week there's another deposit from Bank America. So Bank America is not a wave two bank or a wave three bank. They pay every week. Number two. Direct Express Comerica consumers already have checks received in the mail. Those checks were waived too, March 26. And that will continue to be the case that people who have direct deposit accounts set up will continue to get them by mail check. Finally, as one viewer asked yesterday, why, when I have a direct deposit set up, am I getting a mail check? Treasury has no explanation for it. And moreover, another viewer asks, is a way to determine which of us that have that direct deposit set up are getting a mail check? Nope, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just totally random. And the important thing to know is that while deposits occur on Wednesday from big banks, Direct Express and Comerica and others, and smaller banks appear Tuesday and Wednesday, mail checks can land any day. And while the big deposits or mail checks, are, are their dates are, are Fridays, they could land any day that week because they could be coming late or early. Shouldn't miss that stimulus check when it lands. Because if it lands, it's very hard to replace it. Meantime, as we go into the new day, what should you know about that $10,200 of unemployment benefits? Let me go over that right now. If you have not filed that tax return yet from 2020 and you do have a concern about this $10,200, don't worry because Treasury says they're going to issue guidance for those who have not filed their 2020 tax return in the next few days. If you're a viewer who did file the 2020 tax return and did declare income, did pay taxes on your $10,200 for purpose of federal taxes, that refund is coming. And that refund is coming in May. IRS says they'll have more details about when and where you have to, where and where you see it. You don't have to do anything. It'll be automatic. But understand that this is federal taxes, not state taxes. Why? 13 to 50 states, 13 or more states have already indicated they're not going to honor the rule. They're not going to provide that state relief. They're going to say this is just for federal taxes. Elsewhere, we're going to continue to see the real push from Democrats across the board for reoccurring stimulus checks. And their push is making it very loud and clear that while the president may want to do one thing, they want to do something else. Forced stimulus is going to be unlike anything you've seen before. It's going to be a little bit of a free-for-all. Because when you see this forced stimulus heat up, you're going to see a lot of Democrats trying to put stuff in there that's not in there. And ultimately, if you are a senator, you're in the best position. Because senators can block what's in there, amend what's in there, and put it to the finish line, despite what the president has left out. As we go into the new morning, understand we are currently between wave two, three, and four. Wave two could still land today in the mail. Wave three could start landing early today in the mail. And then by the end of the week, we head into wave four. I hope this recording has helped you. And I hope these graphics have also helped you as well. It's a lot of information. 
And while showing you a video of some waves on the beach is easy, showing you a graphic that breaks down week after week of wave after wave for stimulus checks is more important. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If so, subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member because, boy, you're going to need it as that four stimulus rolls out. And there's a lot of stuff happening over the next few days. As people start to get the stimulus check, guess what's also going to happen? EIDL is about to go live. Shuttered Venue Grant is about to go live. That has the, um, the child care tax credit of 5,4400 is about to go live. Rent, utilities, and more. All that deliciousness of third stimulus is about to go live. And I will be with you to ensure you get that big money because guess what? That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. I don't want you to miss any of that money as it goes live. As you go into a new morning, I want you to know that I'm with you to ensure you get that money from third stimulus as soon as it goes live. Stay informed, stay focused, keep on smiling. If you missed the idea on Overnight's L8 or FPC Retro, catch it now. And I will see you at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time as Mornings L8 heats up. Coming up next, stay informed, stay focused, and stay with L8 for more.